Hi, and welcome to today's Sustainable Wellness with Mom. I am super excited to be talking to you about one of my favorite topics, and that is redefining fast foods. We think fast food looks like this, that it comes from a delivery man or a food truck or even a drive through but in actuality, it can really look like this. How is that even possible to make healthy food fast, easy, convenient, while still having a nice, warm, home-cooked meal that doesn't require us slaving in the kitchen for hours? Eat the scratch. Now, we've always been told to cook our food from scratch, and we have to, when most people think about that. We think of these elaborate meals that we have to make, but I'm going to be sharing with you, again, tips and tricks on how to eat the scratch. Wash produce. Cut up your fruits and veggies. This cuts down cooking meals at nighttime for dinner. Market the food to yourself. Think outside the box and have a backup plan that a backup meals that you kind of keep on hand that are fast, easy, healthy, and well-balanced that your family loves. So here's some more tips. Number one, use a sustainable meal planning system. If you know that your Wednesday nights are busy, have some kind of plan that is going to fit your family and fit the lifestyle. You guys can use crock pots and instapots and um, Freeze meals. We, we're going to talk about that here in a minute. Use a sustainable snacking system. If you have that in place, you can quickly make a meal that is customized and individual to each person. Learn what fast foods or what foods freeze well. Things like rice and quinoa, they, they freeze really well and heat really well, reheat really well. Learn to eat raw foods. Most people think, oh, I have to make this elaborate meal every single night when you can be having a nice grilled chicken salad or something that is going to provide your body with A, the nutrients that it needs, B, it's going to help satisfy you, and C, you're going to feel awesome after you finish eating it. And like I mentioned before, have a plan B. Now, while you're, you're learning to cook from scratch, I recommend only trying, to, trying one new recipe a week. Um, that way you keep it simple and easy and you know what your family likes and enjoys. So here's my best advice. Apples are fast foods. Leftovers are fast foods. An Instapot can help your food become fast. You'll see in this picture that I have a rotisserie chicken. It's a whole chicken. It took 20 minutes to cook and will feed my family at least two meals depending on how we use it. One pot or pan meals. Throw everything in a pan, cook it up, and you're good to go. I threw my chicken in for this one let it kind of sear and added in my vegetables. I have sun-dried tomatoes and um, asparagus in this. If I had some rice, I could easily reheat the rice from the freezer and add some soy sauce and that would be a quick, easy meal. Take me about 15, 20 minutes to have it all done. Peanut butter and jelly. This is a peanut butter and jelly sandwich on sprouted bread. Prepackaged salads. This is one that I got from Costco. Um, I've been known to add in additional things to those prepackaged salads. Um, this one right here is the sweet kale, I believe, from Costco. And teriyaki chicken, some cut up apples. It tastes really good on that. They have prepackaged snacks. This is, again, something that we got from Costco. My kids, as you can see, were chowing down at church, and it was nice and healthy and yummy and balanced, and it was fast. 
I grabbed it out of the fridge, put it in our church bag, and we were off. Um, this is a quick stir fry. All my veggies were already pre-cut up. I just had to quickly saute them. And the rice was already cooked and the meat was left over from the night before. So that was my lunch one day. It took me about five minutes to pull everything out and reheat it all. Finger foods. Finger foods are always quick and easy. Another thing that my family does, well, here are some of my go-tos. If I'm at home and I'm like, I have not thought of dinner, we typically eat some kind of rice bowl, quinoa bowl, um, and it's typically Mexican style. We love Mexican food. So you'll see here, I have a couple different versions just based off what I had in my fridge and already in my home. Um, but, so the one on the left and even the one on the right, but sometimes the coloring and the mixture doesn't add it, adds up. But the one on the left is actually in my bowl. I have added the avocados. I've added some of those other things that my kids don't like eating. Um, but you can see there are kidney beans, pinto beans, black beans, rice and quinoa, tomatoes, bell peppers, and avocado. You can serve that over a bed of rice. Um, I didn't even, there's no meat in this and you can quick, you can easily add meat. The one on the right has some ground beef. I believe that was already in my fridge pre-cooked and ready to, ready to go. You can add them into, you can make it into a salad like I mentioned. You can add them into a burrito. Um, just super easy, super yummy. And um, I love adding in cilantro if I have it. If not, just a quick seasoning is the rice vinegar. It, I can't believe how much flavor it adds to this. And people ask me how much I add, and I don't know, anywhere from a quarter cup to about a half a cup. Um, I just mix it in and kind of taste it and see what it tastes like and if it needs more. So... My tips for you is to keep it simple, keep it sustainable, and you'll be good to go.